Okay guys, so a quick video on how to update your Jumper T12 or T12 Plus. This is my old radio. I did a video on how to update the OpenTX firmware and the multi-protocol module on the T12 Pro. This is one with the internal multi-protocol module, but I have here the T12 Plus with the external module here, and these, will, these instructions will work on the, the black one or the off-white one, the original T12. So, I actually have already updated this one to 2.3.5, I'm going to update this to 2.3.7. And the instructions are pretty similar, there's a couple minor differences, I'll point them out. Uh, but if you want to refer to the video on the T12 Pro update, um, that'll give you a little more details. Basically you want to get the 2.3.7 OpenTX Companion, you want to create a radio profile for the T12 for the external module version, and in the radio profile settings, you don't need to select internal multi because obviously this has an external multi module. And then you can select other things like Flex 9M uh, or things like that if you want. You don't necessarily have to. Just make sure you don't select the internal one, otherwise, obviously, this firmware won't work for this radio. So once you've downloaded the 2.3.7 firmware for this radio, you're going to go ahead and copy it to the micro SD card that's on here. So I usually just take the micro SD card out. You can actually uh, also copy it via the uh, mini USB port if you want. So just plug that in, you get a dialog box on your uh, screen here, just say uh, USB port, and then the um, SD card will show up as a drive. So you want to copy over that file to the firmware folder on the SD card, and then uh, you want to turn the radio off and unplug it from your computer. Um, the other thing, actually, before you do all that, if you want to actually select um, or actually get the multi-protocol module firmware onto the SD card in the firmware folder as well, and that's that. Um, basically, it's another video that I made for the T12 Pro internal module. But instead of um, uh, selecting the internal module option, you're going to select the external module option in the dialog or in the down in the drop-down menu on that page. I think I selected the T16 Pro external module for the radio, and then I selected external module in the drop down menu for the settings, and that gave me the correct file. I think it's basically you need the inverted file versus the uninverted file for internal. So the external modules use the inverted file. That's the most important thing. And of course, you want to select your proper channel mapping. I think this one is AETR. I think there's only three options available to you. Um, so just make sure you select the one that's correct for your particular radio. And again, you want to copy those files over to the micro SD card. Go ahead and turn the radio off and plug everything from the computer after you have those files on the micro SD card. And we'll go ahead and boot, uh, load the, uh, or actually um, uh, turn the radio on in bootloader mode. Again, we'll just press the two trims, bottom trims in, and then tap the power button. And now we're in bootloader mode. And you see we're on 235 currently, so we're going to hit uh, right firmware, and here I have the OpenTX firmware and the multi-protocol module firmware. We're going to select the OpenTX firmware. And this, we're going to go to 237, hold enter to start. And I'll go ahead and start writing the firmware. And that's done. So we'll go ahead and exit out of here. And go ahead and I'm going to update the bootloader. Let's so go into the, let's see here, go into the radio setup here, the SD card, go into the firmware folder. And you want to select the OpenTX firmware here and hold the, press and hold the enter button. And then hit flash bootloader. And that should update the bootloader, so we'll go ahead and exit out of here and let's turn the video off. And if we go into bootloader mode now, we have the 237 bootloader. Go ahead and exit out of here. Welcome to our and then the last thing we want to do is, let's see here, um, go into the radio setup again, go into the firmware folder again, and this time we're going to select the uh, multi-protocol module firmware that we downloaded earlier. Again, make sure you have the correct one. And as of the day of this video, it's uh, 1.3.0.76 is the latest version. Select that file, long press the enter button. 
And then you're going to select Flash External Multi. Okay, so it appears that uh, you were not able to do the update via the radio. And I think it's because it's not the internal module. I think this, this, actual, this actual procedure only works for the internal module. That's where we're getting this update error. So which, what this means is, let's go ahead and exit out of here. I think what this means is that we have to actually um, flash the module via the mini USB port. So you're going to have to download the, it's called the uh, Flash Multi app on your Windows PC. And I'll put a link in the description to how to do that. And um, then we just have to, uh, actually that same file, instead of actually flashing it from the SD card, we're going to flash it from your computer. Um, you have to load up that file in Flash Multi. Uh, you, once you plug in your mini USB into your computer, um, it'll show up as a COM port. You want to make sure you select that COM port and then you flash the module from the Flash Multi program inside Windows.